I was delivered by a Filipino doctor, raised up in an old house, in a small farming community. Years went by, then I graduated school, said goodbye to friends and joined the Navy, where I was sent to far-off lands to see the world and work as a weather watcher. And I survived, but I got hooked by a sweet little cutie named Terry, and we got married. And we moved to Chicago, where she got cold, but couldn't ski, and found a job and learned to shop. We bought a Volkswagen and drove around some. Then I landed a desk job and we moved to California and lived in the desert where we hiked and camped. And Zumba wasn't invented yet and I played racquetball. I left the Navy and we tried different things and eventually we didn't like California no more. So we moved to Mississippi where we ate lots of catfish and she found Zumba and I played more racquetball and we did more stuff like build lots of things like decks and sheds. Then we sold stuff like sheds and gazebos and pumpkins. Then she built her own business working on expensive dresses and things and I sold houses. Then we had it all. Businesses, cars, motorhome, yacht, big house on the golf course, and we were like rats in a race, to nowhere. So we started building again, in a land far, far away. And before you could say stress kills, we sold everything, packed up the rest, and moved there, to the Philippines, with two cats, where she did Zumba, and I did, well, not much. After making many new friends, and many barbecues, fiestas, and beers, we moved again, to Guam, where America's day begins. And it still hasn't tipped over, where she still does Zumba, and bowling, and I'm back to racquetball, fishing, diving, and golf, and more fiestas, and we're still watching for falling coconuts. Ah, and life is good.